Hi everyone, this is Anton. The Moon Brightens for You is an upcoming wuxia romance drama that officially wrapped filming back on November 23rd of last year. We should be seeing the series premiere soon sometime this month in September, and it seems like a nice quirky drama to follow. This production, as with many others recently, is based on a novel of the same name. Xing Fei, whom you may remember from the youth comedy Put Your Head on My Shoulder from 2019, and her breakout role in Master Devil Do Not Kiss Me from 2017, plays as the main female lead. Her character here is said to be intelligent and hardworking. She dreams to become a great martial artist and trains hard, but upon entering the martial arts world, she becomes dismayed by the lack of honor and righteousness displayed by the people she meets. She then vows to change the martial arts world herself and tries to bring back the virtues that had been romanticized by books and legends of martial artists long past. She meets a sickly aristocratic playboy played by none other than Alan Yu. You may remember him from this year's The Love Last Two Minds and 2019's The Legend of Whitesnake. His character of course is stoic and detached, but he's ultimately looking to avenge his clan and the pair work together to pursue both their goals of reforming the martial arts world. Okay, so what do I think about this? I think that this show has a real good possibility of being good. Alan Yu, of course, is Alan Yu. They always typecast him into this kind of role. And if I'm being honest with you guys, the Love Last Two Minds kind of fizzled for me. I feel like Alan Yu is the type of actor who needs a strong female lead opposite of him. He really shines when there's someone else there who can really bring out the best of his character. And Yuki Chen, I love her to death, but I feel like the dynamic in the Love Last Two Minds just didn't flow the way I had expected it to. Xing Fei, however, our lead in this case, excels at this in my opinion. There are just some actresses that are really great at drawing out the best in the typical stoic, serious, male trope character. Xing Fei, as well as a few others in C-drama currently, are really good at this in my opinion. Coupled with that, it's a wuxia drama as well, so I think this one has the recipe to be really good. We'll have to wait and see though. And by the way, I'm not saying The Love Last Two Minds was bad, I'm just saying that it could have been better. So anyhow, what do you guys think? Do you think The Moon Brightens for you will be a good one? What other dramas have you been watching so far that you've been enjoying? Let me know down in the comments section below. It's been a while since we've been back doing drama updates here at Asian Drama News, so remember to hit that subscribe button, and please, turn on your notification bell for more drama news updates in the future. Thanks for watching, my name is Anton, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!